Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Angie. <laughs> and we're happy, healthy vegan. Ta -da! <laughs> and it's a super exciting day because oh, yeah. Ryan sent in an article to Mind Body Green and it was published and it was on the front page all freaking day. It's yeah. called Debunking the Myths About Vegans and Protein. And yeah. apparently it's a hot topic. Yeah, it was one of the more popular articles of the day, my first time. Ooh. And so I'm, I'm very proud. Got like several hundreds of shares across what? various social media. So yeah, we realized when the article went up, like, you know, I wrote this great article. You helped me too. But we never wrote, um, we never did a video episode on this protein. I know, it seems crazy. It seems like it'd be the first thing we'd ever talk about, doesn't We've it? We've flirted with protein in a few yeah. past episodes, but we never dealt with this head protein on. myth. To head on. So let's, totally. let's get it out now, guys. Let's just yeah. deal with it. So I love your opening line, of course, is vegans always get this question you know what i'm talking about guys yeah you've heard it on other podcasts where do you get your protein but where do you get your protein is the first question <laughs> they ask you friends families or especially your family yeah. especially one's mom always wants to know you know well, but you're, you're not eating meat or dairy so the, uh, the the reason in this they ask that i think is the, the assumption behind that question is like they assume meat is the sole source for protein yeah i think that people have gotten to a point now where they say like, okay, this is my meal plan and I've, I've got my protein. Which means meat. And then I've got my vegetable, which is not protein, meat. right? And yeah. then I've got like my bread and the, oh, I guess there's no protein no, in that either. Here's my protein, they're referring to the meat. They have all, yeah. the, they have all this like broccoli and spinach yeah, on the like side. Yeah, it's like this whitewashed way of referring to meat is called protein. And but I, meat does not equal protein. Protein well, does not equal meat. One way to answer that question is, well, I get my protein the same place a big giant gorilla gets his protein, or her protein, Miss Gorilla. Um, <laughs> You're thinking of a big silverback. <laughs> elephants and giraffes. Where do they get their protein? They don't eat mm. anything other than plants. But maybe these animals don't need protein. Well, they have, you know, gorillas, big muscles, yeah. bigger than any man I've ever seen. Well, let me just break it down, guys. All plant foods have protein. Simple. All? You've heard it. All. All, all? plant foods have protein. <laughs> so forget about equating meat with protein. That's just totally inaccurate. Don't do it. <laughs> it's just wrong. It's just totally wrong. So yeah, some people might say, okay, all right, all right you, you convince me. All, all plants have protein. I shouldn't take convincing. It's a true fact. But you might say, well, how can you surely can't get enough? Yeah, There's it can't be sufficient amount of protein in bananas, for instance. And they might be right if I just had one banana, but I have 10 bananas for breakfast at least, and that gets me 30% yeah, roughly of my US daily recommended allowance for protein. Just like that, my first 10 minutes of being awake, bam, and I'm gonna eat more food throughout the day. Right, and I happen to know that you often put spinach in that smoothie as well. And we know spinach has a lot of, uh, like what do we see, like 30%? 30 to 40. 30 per, to 40% of its calories come from protein, and that's- Pretty amazing. That's like meat levels Wow, right there. is it really? Mm, the wow, far as the percent. spinach. Yeah. Spinach and bananas, people, mm -hmm. protein. Just like that, I'm probably getting like yeah, 30, 40% of my um, calories. Uh, my, my RDA for wow. protein. Put that and, in your blender and eat it. And you know, there's a lot of other high protein containing plants. Broccoli is one. Um, and oh, and if you're not raw vegan, beans. Beans are excellent. Quinoa. Oh, yeah, that's Stuff right. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. Legumes. Yeah, you gotta watch out. I try to not eat too much protein as well. I'll make Why sure is that? I make sure I don't like eat beans and quinoa all day because no? vegans like think, okay, I gotta eat all my protein because I'm a vegan and it's so oh, hard yeah. to get. But people think, yeah, I gotta get all this protein. Well, how much protein do we really need? Is the question. Yeah, we need hmm. some. I'm I don't not... think anyone's really thinking about that. Well, the when world planning their diet. The World Health Organization is thinking about <laughs> that, and they say we need to get about five percent of our calories what? from protein. Pregnant women, about six percent. And um, a lot of us raw vegans aim for about 10%, the 80-10-10 way of eating. Oh, that's what the 10 and 80-10-10 Yeah, 10% calories from fat, 10% from protein. <laughs> it's all you need. It's like most fruits, strangely enough, have about 4 to 7% of their calories from pro protein. So if wow. you're just eating fruit alone, you're going to get more than enough, especially if you're eating a, a variety, because some will have more, some will have less. You know, eat, eat some more greens in there like we're talking about, you're going to get mm -hmm. your 10%. No problem. Some nuts, you're going to get your 10% calories from protein, so it's really Really easy to get. And but, on a side note, you won't get all that fat that you'll get in meat mm -hmm. and nuts. And cholesterol and mm -hmm. antibiotics and hormones. Yeah. That's a whole other episode. Exactly. It's but, like cleaner protein. But these people are eating too much protein, think, oh, I gotta eat a lot of protein. First, I was like, why? Where'd you get this figure, this fact from you have to eat all this protein? Most people don't realize eating too much protein is actually not more healthy for you. A lot of people think it, you know, you gotta eat more and more. No, it's actually worse for your health. Protein breaks down into acidic byproducts, making your bloodstream 
more acidic. Uh -oh. But your bloodstream can't handle that. It needs to be at a certain pH at all times. So what will happen is your body's smart. It goes, hey, I need to get more alkaline minerals in here. So it'll look for, say, your, your bones. Like, oh, cool, there's calcium in these bones here. And your body's gonna always be pulling calcium out of the bones to balance out the acidic effects of your, your high protein diet. So it's not well, good. Well, doesn't that mean that we should drink more milk to get more calcium? No, it doesn't work that way, actually. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And oh, hey, join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash happyhealthyvegan. Um, there's going to be a link to the debunking the myths about vegans of protein article there. We also have a great Instagram feed with a lot of the food that we're eating and things that we're doing that goes through Facebook. And subscribe to us on YouTube yes. as well. And definitely do that immediately. Right where, now. Where, Just hit where? the button. I'm going to put the button right now. So see it right there on the screen? Hit, hit it. Click. All right, guys. Okay, Until next out. time. Bye.